<laughs> nice. How about a two liter? Let me find that red dot. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what a rig. Oh, oh, I didn't know you all were here yet. Uh, Hickok 45 playing around with a Ruger Charger. Let's take it over here and shoot paper with it. Do I need the bipod? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Let's just grab the bipod. Where's that red dot? There it is. <laughs> kind of lost my red dot. Uh, clay pot. Boom. Gong. <laughs> Click. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Ruger Charger. Is, is that a rig or what? Uh, it's a little awkward to use because it's like a short 1022. How's that for profound? It, it, it really does remind you of a shorter 1022, doesn't it? I think that's because it's pretty much what it is. Let's uh, set it uh, set it down here. It's it's clear. I'll point it that way. You can see, see it a little bit better. Uh, might even load a little bit while I'm talking to you. But yeah, this uh, we were, I have seen these things around, and it, it seems like every gun shop has one sitting on a counter somewhere. And I've told John, yeah, we're gonna do one of those sometime. I'm not sure what it is, but let's do one of those sometime. And finally, requested one. It's 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 a strange animal and I, every time i see it i think well i'm not sure why people buy those and what they do with them uh but it's it's interesting and uh it's worth taking a look at and uh let you know what i think of it okay which might not be worth much you probably get your money's worth get ready for that now uh the price of admission you know kind of dictates what you get back <laughs> so uh, first of all, it comes with a 15-round magazine, and I have a bunch of these 25-rounders, uh, these BMX or BX25s, and I had them all loaded up. I've got four of them over there on the table in addition to these, and this is good. We won't have to do any loading on the on camera, and, and these things have a reputation for being really good. I, I don't recall having trouble with any of them, just haven't used them for a while, and uh, got those things out, loaded them up, didn't even think about it, and we're out here shooting this thing again with those and, and they're malfunctioning those those some of those magazines this one has worked like a charm every time okay we've loaded it and shot it most of the shooting we've done with it was with this magazine it's worked just fine and in this one too that comes with it so i don't know i, I haven't used them much i i've been under the impression for years those were great magazines i, I don't know what it is I, I really don't it's perplexing but uh I'll worry about that some other time so this is what we have it is a kind of a ruger 1022 uh cut down the early ones that these came out in around 2007 that's pretty much what they were as i understand i was i really never had one and uh from uh, my reading and looking at these things as i understand what they've done now they discontinued it a couple of years ago and brought it back with a slimmer stock uh threaded barrel uh what else picatinny rail you know uh capability and now it has a uh, pistol grip an ar pistol grip so you have all kinds of choices as you can imagine in the ar world for whatever pistol grip feels best for you so some things like that uh they've kind of enhanced it so this is kind of the new model the new charger uh, and and 10 and you know 22 long rifle now I had to put my sight on it. Now the sight doesn't come with it. This is an e-gunner, you know, auction gun that Buds will auction off. Uh, again, 10% uh, of that goes to the Second Harvest Food Bank and the rest of Buds, whatever. So we, we just have the, the benefit we get is of course, we get a gun to experiment with and to give you our impressions of and to shoot and all that sort of thing. So that goes back uh, to Buds. But I just wanted to make it clear what comes with this firearm is that 15 round magazine not the sight i had to put a, there's no sight on it so you'll need to figure out what kind of sight you want this bag does come with it so and it comes in a nice box but i wanted to, that rigor bag that's why i didn't open it uh whoever gets it probably didn't want it open and we'll put that uh that two liter paper target in with uh, the box okay so that'll be part of it so just clarify all that so uh picatinny rail yeah i i thought well i could put uh something on that uh like a an embus or something no i need two on there so it really needs a red dot i guess or a scope 
Now, I've seen people dress them up with a, a scope and everything. Okay, and then of course the bipod comes comes with it. Uh, and we didn't have that on for a little bit, and I finally put it on. I thought that's yeah, part of the package. And if you're just going to shoot it offhand, it doesn't really get in the way. You can fold them up, you know, the the legs, uh, whatever you want to do with them. But you, you actually, you can you can you can do remarkably well just just like that, uh, holding the thing kind of like a I don't know what it's like. Uh, that's not an illegal method for shooting a firearm, is it? Holding that, <laughs> I don't know. It, who knows these days? But you could fold that up and uh, you know, rest it like that or however you might want to do it. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I, I tell you the truth, I thought, you know, this thing, this is really a toy and I, it has no practical purpose at all. That's kind of my impression, but I see a lot of them and they apparently sell. I thought, well, let's just take a look at it and keep an open mind, all right? And I can see the fun of one of these. It, it's a pretty neat little plinker. As we started the video and the way I was sitting there, you know, you could put this thing on your car hood or wherever you want, and you get a rock steady hold, you know, wherever you rest it. Uh, that's more you can say for most handguns, even all these cool AR pistols that people seem to like. You know, what do you rest it on? Well, this thing, you got a bipod and you can get down and, and shoot that thing. I, I would say for a hunter, that, that might have some real practical value. Uh, you know, we're just plinking around. But again, I probably don't have a lot of use for it uh, in, in my arsenal, you know, really. Uh, but it's, it's pretty cool. It, it's not bad. <laughs> it, it feels better than I thought it would. And I intentionally uh, requested and ordered uh, the one with the polymer uh, stock. Instead of, they make all kinds of variations of these, as you probably know, and you've seen them. And the ones you do see in a gun shop are often like a, a laminated, you know, beautiful stock, I guess, quote unquote, beautiful. But uh, I think it's a little bit lighter with the polymer stock. And uh, I don't know, I just, it seems handier. It's not as big. And uh, I just, if I'm going to have something like this, I'm not worried about having a, a beautiful stock, you know. And again, it's just a Ruger 1022. Now it does have a a big mag let, which is kind of nice for releasing the magazine but it gets in the way of the the gizmo the mag release and all that or the uh bolt release no then i always have trouble with 1022s <laughs> anyway they're uh they're too complicated for me right uh so pretty neat i put the i uh, installed the bipod it's no problem to put that on you got a picatinny little piece of picatinny rail you install there screw onto it and, and it works fine too much i put this uh uh, Volter red dot on there and I was pleasantly surprised I, I did not even adjust it it just seemed like it was right on now this is pretty quiet I do not need ears for this magazine and I saved some two liters and things for that reason all right now this magazine has been working now hopefully it will continue to work all right get ready for some loud noise Safety off. <laughs> Don't spray me. Uh, that's cool. Let's try a pot. That's pretty cool. You can actually hear it hit the clay. <laughs> Can't believe that sight is on so well. Click. That's neat. Two liter time. Oh, I, oh uh, well, that target that's going to be in the box, it might have a little uh, two liter stain on it. Sorry about that. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> I think 22 is the best two liter uh, ammo. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's see what the gong sounds like. See if I can hit it. <laughs> Let me get the red plate. Oh, let's put this thing out there. <laughs> That's pretty neat. <laughs> let's get this guy right here. Whoa! Don't spray me. Whoa. Good thing it didn't shoot this way.
<laughs> Let's quietly shoot Mr. Cowboy. How about the other cowboy? Oh, I see some two liters there on the tree. I forgot about those. John rigged them up there. Yeah, I was trying to ricochet and get him. <laughs> we should have put a glass down there to pour into. That's pretty neat. Boom. Click. Are we out of quiet fun now? <laughs> That's cool. So that was the extent of our subsonic ammo. But we have uh, we have more. We'll shoot a couple more. Now this won't be as quiet, but it uh, doesn't require ears. Okay. Neat. Good little shooter. You know, I don't think now if we had all kinds of trouble. I'll load one of these back up. We had all kinds of trouble, like I said, with four of the the BX25 mags. But we've had no trouble with these two, so and the one that came with it. So I'm assuming, I don't know. Maybe uh, I don't. I don't know that maybe you do. They've changed a little bit on the design of these things or something. I don't know. But uh, pretty cool. Uh, 1022. Yeah, you know, it doesn't get much more classic than that, does it? As a as a uh, semi-automatic 22 rifle. And uh, so what you have is, you know, cut down version of it. Kind of a handgun rifle or, or something that uh, it might fit your needs uh, they must be selling these things somebody's buying them some of you own them so you can share what you do with them and why it is that you like them and uh, some of you might have some opinions on why you don't like them and why you think it's a, a waste of rifling <laughs> a waste of polymer and steel uh, Every gun doesn't have to have a, you know, some ultimate purpose, of course. And these run around $300, and this can, well, without the suppressor in, uh, in sight, around three, 310. And uh, they have a takedown model that uh, runs another 100 bucks, basically. So around 410, 420, something like that. And, you know, you see what you get. And uh, it, uh, it might be exactly what you've been looking for or it might not but every every rifle pistol doesn't have to you know have a uh, I don't know some some use uh, extremely practical use I guess is what I'm getting at uh, I as I've said before once you get past a great if you can carry great carry gun or defensive gun handgun or whatever a good shotgun and uh, maybe a good rifle of some sort uh, for whatever you do and then you may have needs beyond that because you hunt certain game uh, once you get past really four or five firearms i mean one could argue that everything beyond that is gravy it's just for fun you know or it's a duplicate of what you already have i've got a couple of those don't I? so you know a lot of firearms are just because you think they're cool and oops sorry and they're uh just interesting something that might be fun to shoot at the range or plinking on granddad's farm or you know whatever i don't know it also depends on what kind of sights you you want to put on a handgun or a rifle or one of these and whether or not you're going to suppress it and all that so, and if you're a big fan of the ruger 1022 a lot of those out there then you know maybe it's just something to complete the collection right all right, so let's run a couple more rounds through this thing. That sort of loaded faster than I would expect it. All right, we might put a couple more on paper here. All right. Should I try to get them in the middle? There's the right. red dot doesn't show up too well on that. You can barely see the red dot. <laughs> That's why we like semi-automatic 22s, isn't it? So we can empty magazines. We have another one to empty. Let's let's give the gong a little more attention. All right. Now the the scope uh, makes it awkward to get to the bolt, and I don't 
I don't know where you could mount it that it wouldn't that wouldn't be a little bit of a problem. I took the the higher base off of the uh, the red dot and thinking it'd be you know be better if it was closer to the bore but I don't know maybe I've been better off to leave I had a mouth on about like that maybe it would have been out of the way a little more I don't know. all right Mr. Gong you thought you were finished didn't you you might have been Or save a couple for the cowboy. <laughs> Wrap up with him. All right, it's clear. So anyway, you know, the Charger, the Ruger Charger, kind of a strange animal. Uh, I've been curious about it since I started seeing them in gun shops. And uh, again, I, I'm not sure what it's for, but you probably have a purpose, okay? Uh, I will, and I will assume you have a purpose for this firearm. Tell us about it. Life is good. <laughs> oh, well, since I'm still here, let me take this moment to thank uh, SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute, for their support of the channel. Uh, we appreciate you know, their help. Uh, SDI is a place where you can get certified in uh, gunsmithing. You can even get an associate's degree in firearms technology and work in various areas of the firearms field might be appealing to you. They work a lot with veterans and uh, just a pretty cool place. So check out the link, uh, sdi.edu. Uh, the link is in uh, the description of most videos, almost all videos for the last six months or more. So, uh, so check that out. Also, while I have you, since I'm still here, uh, be sure to, to check the links in all the descriptions because, you know, we're on Full 30 now also with all the videos. So there's a link in the, in the descriptions to Full 30, as well as, of course, our sponsors, uh, SDI, BudsGunShop.com, uh, Federal Premium. So all the good information is there, as well as uh, keep in mind that on uh, Hickok 45 and Sun, we have uh, quite a few videos over there. John's doing the, the gun culture radio show over there. Check it out if you haven't done that yet. Our Facebook page, uh, the Hickok 45 Facebook, uh, Hickok 45 and Son Facebook page. That's where we try to stay in touch with you and uh, give you a little extra information. Even post pictures and uh, a little video occasionally, just, just whatever. Uh, mainly just a way to keep up with you all and provide some more information. You know, we're not really Facebookers, but it's a, it's a pretty good system for that, even though most of us are not in love with Facebook, right? <laughs> so check all that out. And you really had better check it out because I might just have to come to your house and have a chat with you if you don't. And I expect to have coffee and donuts ready when I get there. Why?